हेलो एवरीबॉडी माय सेल्फ धर्मेश शाह रिसेंटली वी केम आउट विद द रिपोर्ट ऑन आर रेजिलेंट स्टॉक्स द आर टॉप सेवन पिक्स दैट कैन वेदर द स्ट्रॉम सो देर इज ऑलवेज अ बीन अ गुड सेइंग दैट द एडवर्सिटी विल ब्रिंग विद एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड इक्विटी मार्केट इज नॉट अ एक्सेप्शनल टू दैट विथ करंट अनसर्टेनिटी इन द मार्केट ड्यू टू कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक वी हैड आइडेंटिफाइड we as a icc direct has identified the stocks that have an ability to withstand a storm and may take off once the runway is clear as the wisdom goes in the market there are always an opportunities in every adversity which exhibits the bull move even in the rough environment we believe in the current uncertain scenario when many stocks are at the multi year low and finding opportunities are always been a challenging identifying such resilient stocks and riding them in the rough environment like the current one will always be paying off with rewarding and exciting returns to overcome our biases to overcome our biases we have filtered our stocks into three parts uh, into more likely from the technical part where we have structural turnaround relative strength and dow theory now has per the structural turnaround we have categorized the stocks into three parts structural turnaround relative strength and dow theory are three broad technical concept to find the outperformance during the market decline in 2020 has the current under the structural turnaround these are the stocks that have witnessed a faster retracement of the entire jan march 2020 decline in a quicker time in april 20 thereby signaling a change of guard and a robust price structure major companies which comes under this category have been the pharma companies which are, have been a part of the structural turnaround which has witnessed a faster retracement i would say on the other side second been a relative strength filter which shows the the stocks have been remaining resilient during the sharp decline of february and march 2020 and relatively been outperforming the benchmark acting as a defensive bets for investors these stocks have steadily performed the portfolio performance even in the turbulent times we believe and the last but not the least has been the dow theory which signals uh, dow theory is bullish signals are one they exhibiting a combination of higher high higher low on the yearly time frame which is on the longer time degree frame and supported by similar signals on the monthly charts with medium term degree as the basic tenet of dow theory goes that trend is your friend and therefore staying invested with this companies may be the rewarding say the we believe so a topics on the base of the three filters uh, uh, we have selected seven stocks total have been the 100 stocks which is the detail of the stocks have been published in our report for which you need to go to visit to our iccdirect.com website when the, the research section you will be able to view the report on the resilient stocks but our topics on the top seven picks of our on the resilient stocks on the base on our top 3 filters are been one is in for age we have a target price of 2950 in the in for age on the technical front the stock has been one of the most outperformer and has seen a sharp recovery in the last 3 to 4 weeks from the decade long term rising trend line joining the major lows of cy9 cy30 and cy17 which is placed at around 1600 so info age is one which we limit to be on the positive side coromandel fertilizer has been a second top pick with a target price of 688 now coromandel also has been the india second largest phosphate fertilizer player in manufacturing a wide range of fertilizer and market around 4.5 million tons on the technical front again the stock has been relatively outperformed the mid cap index and held a key support despite even in the current volatility around which was around 450 a breakout of a long term contracting triangle confirming the change of polarity we believe a stock is more likely to offer a fresh buying opportunity with favorable risk reward at the current levels 
third we have our topic has been the lelexo footwear we had a target price of 765 lelexo has consistently posted the strong performance showing the company fundamental strength on the with the volume has gone three times over the last decade the transformation from being a basic sleeper company to a conglomerate of high value added products category has led the average realization to double to rupees 125 per piece on the technical front again we believe the stock has seen a change of polarity as the previous major trend line resistance joining the highs of cy15 and 18 as reverse this rule and been acting as a strong support which is placed at around 500 we believe the stock is more likely to head towards 765 been a 80% retracement of the entire decline from 830 to 500 fourth are been a uh, topic has been the astral poly now astral on the technical side we feel the stock has seen been in a secular uptrend and has been trading on a rising channel since cy17 highlighting a sustainable demand at all elevated levels the bro- we believe the current the stock has been forming a base around the lower band of the channel and more likely to resume its upward move towards 1160 been a 80% retracement of the entire decline from 1265 to 746 fifth our topic remains to be the ramco cement with sales volume have been affected on the fundamental side being the rural and semi urban areas have shown resilience on the pricing front again the management do not foresee a significant pressure on the cement price in the near term believe technically also if you look at the stock has been holding the key sub upward lo- sloping trend line which is placed at around 460 despite the elevated volatility and remain to be the outperform within the cement space lorus slab again a six topic has been lorus slab with a target price of 620 being from being an anti aids api supplier the company is rigorously de- diversifying its products basket by moving into the some niche api and formulations technically also we feel during the current month the stock has witnessed a faster retracement over the last 4 weeks stock entirely retraced the preceding 8 weeks of decline indicating a robust price structure in turn suggesting a structural turnaround arguing well for the next leg of up move last but not the least has been dixon technology with a target price of around 5840 the stock has been forming the higher base after seeing the intermediate correction near the key value area which was placed at 3000 we expect the stock to resolve above the life high which is around 40 4895 and head towards 5840 has been a 150% external retracement of the last two month correction which was from 4895 to 23000 so this has been our topics on the resilient stocks we believe for the market outlook in the near term market is more likely to see a consolidation in the range of 8500 to 10000 now again 8500 been again we believe a strong support for the nifty and any dip towards the range of 85 to 8600 should be looked as a buying opportunity for upside target of around 9500 to 10000 so we will see more likely a stock specific action volatility will continue in the market but we believe i think so the companies which with a strong balance sheet with good management is more likely to see the outperformance going forward so our topics which we have already discussed in the current podcast remains to be i think so one should focus into it and any correction in this stock sh- should be looked as a buying opportunity